Hello you guys! Welcome to a new video! Today I'm building the Bates Motel, uh, something that somebody actually requested to me last year, but obviously, as you can see here, I'm not very good at using the terrain tool, so I always pushed it back, I never wanted to do this, because I know that it's on a hill. I mean, I could have used foundation, but I don't think it would have looked that well, because it's obviously a hill. So I actually tried building this here, which actually is not that great looking, right? It's not a great hill. It has bumps, it has weird edges, it's also not very hill-like, it has some walls all around it. It looks weird. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying my best here, okay? If you download this, it should be on the gallery, hopefully. Um, if you download this, you can still work around with this hill right here, you know? You don't have to leave it like that, but well, I actually wanted to build Bates Motel because I thought about what can I build for you on Halloween. And I thought about what, what if I'm building a Halloween party or something weird like this. But I actually, I think I actually had a Halloween party built last year or the year before that. Uh, the Halloween playlist is linked below, hopefully, if I remember. So you can watch all of that if you want to. But uh, yeah, I was like, no, I want something big. I want something from a show. And then I remember Bates Motel and somebody told me on Twitter to build it. But uh, yeah, I, I was dreading it. Like, I didn't want to build it, so I didn't build it for weeks and now I'm here you know, first week of October, actually building it, finally. And it, I don't think it turned out bad. I think it turned out quite nice. But yeah, the roof isn't the way that the roof should look like, obviously, because it's the roof just looks very different in the movie, in the movie, in the series, in the show, whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, I kind of like it still. It's a creepy house. It's an old house. And... I love this house. I think this house looks so nice. Anyway, anyway, so this right here is the main house where Norman Bates and Norma Bates live in. They moved into this house. And in front of the house is a motel, hence why it's called Bates Motel, which you will see in a second here. So right now I'm just doing the terrain tool again because I... I realized that I didn't have enough space for a path, you know, how can you go into the front door if the front door is like at the edge of a hill? That doesn't make any sense. So uh, have you watched Bates Motel before? I watched it last year, I binge watched it in like a few weeks because I was so obsessed with it. I totally understand the first season and the second no, the first season is pretty slow, I think. But the next seasons are just amazing. I was shocked and I was blown away by this show. I really like it. And I'm not, you know, I'm weird. I don't watch scary movies. I also, like, I don't watch scary movies. I'm very, I'm getting very creeped out by scary movies. But I can watch creepy shows. I can watch true crime documentaries. And I can read thrillers, you know? I can read thrillers, that's not an issue for me, but I cannot, for the life of me, watch scary movies. I think it's because of the jump scare factor, I don't know. But yeah, I don't like movies. Scary movies, I should say. Uh, so right here, I'm actually trying to find the perfect windows for it, which is pretty hard. Because this, I mean, it's not pretty hard, it's pretty easy actually. But this build has like... 70,000 different windows, which I th thought it was very odd because it has those round ones, then those tiny round ones, and then those other ones that are on the side, as you can see. And yeah, that was just very weird to me. Usually, I put one or two different windows in my builds that all look similar. I mean, not, not that they look completely different, but you know, anyway. Uh, in a second, I realize, oh my god, this lot is way too tiny. And it's a 40 by 30 lot. It's, you know, it's a huge lot, but this lot is way too tiny. So I had to actually uh, 
I had to actually get rid of the park and build it in the park. You know, it's insane how big this is because the house is quite big and then the motel is quite big and there's quite a bit of space. So as you might be able to see right here, I switched lots. And on the motel, I know that I didn't really build the motel that correctly because I think that there's a space where there aren't any hotel rooms or motel rooms. But I actually thought it... I didn't really know how it looked anymore and I couldn't really find any pictures and I didn't know how to build it so I just built it like that. If you don't like it you can rebuild it however you want it but I think it turned out pretty great to be honest you know. So yeah you know what I thought was very very weird about Bates Motel is the fact that Freddie Highmore plays spoiler alert a psychopath like what the hell like what the heck he's so i i know him from charlie in the chocolate factory i mean you might know him from this you know tv show where he plays a doctor but i know him from charlie in the chocolate factory it was my one of my favorite movies growing up and it's still one of my favorite movies he was so young playing alongside johnny depp playing this innocent young little boy who's just the sweetest little dude and now he's playing a psychopath who sorry again spoiler alert who kills everybody like what i was so blown away i thought the mother killed everybody and he was just this manipulated boy who loves his mother more than anything i mean he does love his mother more than anything but he isn't that manipulated i think I mean, wow, when I saw this for the very first time, I was like, okay, what is wrong with this mother? This mother is odd. It's, she's a weirdo. Why is she like clinging to her, her son like that? But then I realized why she does that, to protect everybody else and give him the life that he deserves and where he doesn't destroy a million and two lives. It's very odd everything is very odd about this but i really like the show if you haven't watched it it's on netflix um i really like this yes so everything around the bates motel is filled with gravel and there are always cars parked in front uh, i think norman's bigger brother is driving a pickup truck so you will see that in a second if i add this in this video i hope i do um but yeah so she's driving a green car and eventually i'm changing this black car to a green car in a second and there's just i don't know it's i love that show and i love the motel i think it's so funny enough like so happy looking yellow and everything like that while everything in this show is, is so dark like even nothing is bright there aren't bright colors there aren't happy colors there isn't there's rarely the if there is the sun out it doesn't look happy it doesn't look like it still looks dark you know it has this dark feeling to it because it's like a dark show and i really like that i don't know so if you i mean i want to say if you haven't if you don't have anything to watch in October, but October is over now, it's Halloween. But binge watch it on Halloween, you know? If not, you can still watch it in November. November is still kind of creepy as well. So, yes, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.